For Jews around the world, tonight marks a time of introspection, sacrifice, and repentance. Yom Kippur begins at sundown. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport with the story of this solemn and sacred holiday. It is the holiest day of the Jewish year, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. We're really pushed to think about and reflect about how we behaved in all of our interactions over the past year in hopes of being able to be better in the year to come. Starting at sundown tonight and continuing through sundown Saturday, observant Jews throughout the tri-state and around the world will refrain from working, refrain from eating. They'll be fasting and attending synagogue to pray and repent for their sins of the past year. Hoping to be inscribed for blessing in the Book of Life. Yom Kippur is also seen as a judgment day, right? We're being asked to think and reflect about our actions, but God is thinking and reflecting about our actions too. In the Jewish tradition, at the conclusion of Yom Kippur, each person's fate for the coming year is sealed. During the services, there will be the blowing of the shofar, a ram's horn, which Rabbi Josh Dorsch from Bethel Synagogue in New Rochelle says serves as a wake-up call. Right. It's one thing to be sorry. It's another thing to be sorry and then recognize and take the steps we need to do to be different, to not make the same mistakes again. A solemn time of reverence and reflection for the faithful. It's a time to look back on the year that just passed, think about what was good, what we want to do better, and to look forward to how we can accomplish whatever our goals are for the coming year. As is said in Hebrew, Gemar Hatima Tova, may you be inscribed in the Book of Life. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Yom Kippur completes the annual period of Judaism known as the High Holy Days that started with Rosh Hashanah.